Oh, stealth kill. Hey. Thank you so much for joining me as Game Edge. We're back in Miss Survival, and we did get our little well, SUV, I guess, are ready to go, and everything is good to go. Uh, we did have a little problem with swimming. It was fixed with a new update, which is a 0 0.15. Constantly updating motion blur also uh, fixed here. I'm going to show you guys this. Let me actually go into options here in case you guys are wondering, and I'm mistaken, it's display, and just bring it down to zero, and you're ready to go. And as also, they've added uh, auto saves and stuff. I did take it off for one reason, because what happened to me before, well, I floated in the air, and of course, we're swimming issues. I was able to drop everything into my trunk, here boom 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 that i didn't want to lose everything else went into the trunk here perfectly fine just like this and i will end up uh, floating and when i log back in with after the fix i drop to the ground and bam here we go we're back in action <laughs> we're okay and we're doing just fine we have a lot of stuff in here we even have a crowbar we'll drop in here for now temporarily a hatchet and a knife we don't have to worry about the hammer i'm going to put in here just in case we don't actually need it currently and we'll keep the gun very, very cool. There's actually a POI over here. I think we, we may have nailed this one. Uh, we are bleeding because, of course, a really wounded leg. Uh, we did fall pretty far. Uh, yeah, that, that happened. It happened quite a bit. Uh, let's see here. Open this up. We'll grab it. you. Yep, we'll just shake it out. Thank you. And actually, I want to test something out before we actually read after this. We'll do this. Click on that. Put it here. And let's see here. We got some of this, some of that. We can't pick that one up. All right. I don't really care about leaves. We can find that just about everywhere, so I'm not going to bother with that. And here's some boards. Again, we can't go into trailers. Can't wait. The developer is working a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, sprained ankle, uh, leave games, and continue. A whole bunch of different issues that people may have uh, been encountering. And don't forget, it is a developer who's working extremely hard. And I've only seen communication back and forth. That's been quite incredible. So I'm going to give him tons of props. And we're going to go and uh, say, you know what? Uh, let's give him a chance. Uh, obviously, it's beyond belief how great they are. Re he's reacting. Or they are reacting. I don't know if, sure if there's one or two. Oh, oh. I'll just drop her down. Sometimes it just seems to be a little bit too far. And we'll do rotate. And I'll see if I can actually do this here. I don't know if we can actually put this into the back trunk. I've never tested it out. So we're going to try this out now. Oh, no. I just want to press. Whoop. M. Thank you. <laughs> Jumped instead. Can I shove it in there? Oh. Can I oh wait a second. What? 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 What if? Let's crouch. Can I? Maybe, maybe make a care. Oh, that would be awesome if we could do this. Okay, drop her here. I'm gonna crouch. See if I can see it. Yeah, I can. M. Nice. Does it go up here? Oh, it does. Oh my god. If this stays on here, this would be freaking ridiculous what we can actually do here, guys. Oh. Put this on top. Right. Not too close. Just, just right there, and cue it, and rotate, 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 rotate. I get a couple of these in here. Oh my god! All right, let's see if it sticks. <laughs> it might not. It really might not. All right, we're gonna go and check out a new location too. There is a bandit that's supposed to be down this road. Uh, we're not exactly into it. I know a lot of you want to see what they look like, so we might take a little drive there and do that. And uh, yeah, there's only problem is here. Just press F to go in, and that's pretty much it. Now I have to change the battery on this thing. I did pick one up from a car back there. Uh, and also I changed the spark plugs. So yeah, you can actually go in there and do that. I'll press R for lights. Not sure why. Oh, wait a second. It didn't stay. It didn't stay, did it? It disappeared. It, <laughs> no, it didn't disappear. It stayed up in the air. Okay, well, hey, it was too bad. I had to test it out, though. We we had to see if that was something. All right, well, we'll move her just not to script the game anymore. And it has to. We'll place that here. And it looks like our battery. I wonder if our battery roiter is out because of what here, this thing. I wonder if that's a big problem. I wonder if that's going to be a big problem. If we leave our lights on, if that wears out the battery too. You know what? Be careful because I don't want to slam into any vehicles. Oh, as much as possible. We are going to go and check out the bandits. And see what they are all about from far. And uh, if we'll try to see if also around this area here. Again, the only thing we have to worry about is bandits in the, well, any time. And also mists that comes in here. And, uh, yeah, once a mist comes in, we have to kind of hunker our asses down. Okay, there they are. All right. Let, let's see here. I don't think we can run their asses over. Some people said you can, but you damage your vehicle only. There's an outpost right here. I want to show you guys what they look like. There they are. Okay. Okay, they look like they're ready to go. They're not liking that. I'm not going closer right now because we don't have any kind of weapons. I wanted to check it out very, very fast, but yeah, it looks like it's cool. Oh, shit, don't hit the tree, please. Okay, okay, okay. Stop the car for a second. No, 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 stop it. No, <laughs> turn it off. 
Is it off? Okay, it's off. Cool. Let's just check out and see what we have here. We do our flashlight too. We press L for a flashlight in case you guys are wondering. Probably could have got that faster than I got that. Let's just double check here. Nothing here. There is a jerry candle. Again, I should probably turn off my lights. Get in the car and turn off my lights. Just because uh, I got to use a key binding. There is a key binding too. If you guys were asking before, I've seen a lot of questions. You can use a key binding and stuff. So yes, I don't know if these balls have any value currently. Uh, but yeah, you can actually utilize them. Look at this. So far, there's no mist or anything. Take advantage of this. Philip can. All right. Now, once I place it here, I should have some fuel at point six. Nothing fantastic. Oh man, that sound freaked me out. Uh, stick. All right. I guess somebody. Where would you put a stick in the back trunk? Oh boy, that sounded like something weird, didn't it? It's too bad we can't check in the trunks. All right, some more fuel. Now, there is supposedly a respawn, and they did mention that they actually uh, wanted to actually uh, fix his, well, the developer, I'm not sure if it's one or two, so I'm going to say they for now. Uh, they wanted to actually fix up uh, the actual respawn rates on these things, so uh, on the actual loot. So that is something they're working on for next update, which, I mean, for, let's be honest, it's been coming pretty quick over and over again, so I got no problems with that. Wish you can grab these trucks, though. It'd be pretty cool. Not the fastest things, but definitely a little better than what we have. There's another vehicle right there. And I'm also going to check it out since we're on foot. I think that one uh, will have nothing in it. Of course, another drivable vehicle. Like ours. Nothing in it. Nothing in the trunk. Nothing. All right. Well, so far, it is pretty scary, isn't it, though? At night... You know, if there's no zombies, I, and, and there's no zombies in this game. These are infected, so I guess you can say they're zombies, but they're infected. They disappear once a mist arrives. So that is something a little different than the rest of them. And they, well, I guess the sunlight. We're all debating whether the sunlight is infected. Part of it, they actually cause issues. We'll have to see. Dehydrated, need water. All right, one second here. I think I have some in the back. I think I have some drinks, don't I? I don't. I do have food. I'm going to have to eat this. I think I'm out of liquids. That's okay. It brought me up a little bit. It should be good enough for us to do what we need. Put some of this here. We actually have another one here in case of emergency. Very nice. Okay. Uh, we'll put the sticks in here too. And there's, of course, some food and more of you. Nice. I think we got some decent amount of food and well, we got cloth too. And as long as we keep it in the car... We're pretty safe in not losing our stuff. That's what I like about it. All right, let's do this. What do we headlight like? High beams, do we? Hello? Did my car break? Oh, no. The tires always look like they... they ro what the frick is that? That's a big house up there. Engine. Battery again. Shit. <sighs> Got no way of calling CA here, eh? Oh, okay. There's some cola. Uh, we'll keep it on the car for now. No battery. Crap, this is not a good time to actually be running low on this stuff. Okay, put the scrap and everything here. Um, and carry the food in this with us, just in case. And I'll put the fuel back in here. For now, because we don't need it. I could probably fill up. The, anyways, we'll, we'll do one thing at a time here. And we'll bring the crowbar with us, just in case. Just in case... The light is not exactly the brightest. We can actually sleep anywhere we want to. By pressing 7. I just got to be careful for bears and stuff. Alright, there's some zombies in here. Or, sorry, infected. I should stop seeing zombies. They're infected. Oh, there's a lot of them too. Inside the garage. Alright. Well, we know this place exists. We're going to have to come back. It is really dark. And I don't have a battery. I don't want to have to run back either. There is a place here we probably sleep in there. Maybe we'll look for a battery. God, that sucks big time. They need to fix that. Big time. Not just a little bit. Big time. All right, let's just fill up this while I can. I almost want to grab everything I can and move it. But I, again, we only have a limited fill I can. We're limited on space. And yeah, that's going to be a big problem. It is going to be a big problem. Again, developer has to tweak a bunch of stuff. I'm, I'm positive that's going to be one of them. That needs some tweaking. 
I'll grab a food and stuff that we're going to need. I don't have any pistola stuff. All right. Stay still. I guess that the lights do make a difference on draining the battery. That didn't last long enough for me. I'm, I'm not too keen on it. Look at that. Actually, wounded leg when I'm running. Bad news. It actually starts getting worse. Oh, God. All right. Let me just get there. We'll walk there slowly. All right. So we made it back over here. I'm getting worried that we're going to hit up on something here that we're not supposed to. But I'm going to see if there's some batteries in here. I don't think there is. Okay, don't run. Got to take it easy. I should probably sleep. Oops, sorry. No, continue. Probably should sleep. Nothing. Keep on running. I keep on running. But I shouldn't. I don't think we got to investigate the whole place here. Did we get to investigate the whole place? If we did, we might be able to find somewhere. Hopefully a second floor somewhere. Took that apart. I know that. That respawned. Do I sleep like on top of something? Is that possible? I know I can't go into this thing. Maybe just... I don't think I can sleep in a car either. And these cars here have nothing. Oh, crap. This is really bad news. This is not good at all. These ones we can't do anything with. There's a hammer and more tires. Great. I'd love to see a battery on top here. That'd be even better if I could find that. We need those. Anything inside this? Nothing. We did do that. Uh, circuit board. Sure. Why not? At this point. Oh, nice. Equip. Put those on. Let's check out our... Actually, uh, let's check this out. Equipment. I hate the door sounds. It's freaking me out. Okay, we got boots here. That's good protection. Down to 5% for this, of course, because I dropped a beautiful helmet gun. Oh, shit. Oh, God. All right, there's some food. This is even scarier night than I ever could, you could ever believe, man. This is uh, pretty freaking frightening. It's harder to see. Hopefully, you guys are going to see a whole lot better than I do. Come on. I just need a battery. Fuck. Respawn. No. Oh, shit. There's no batteries anywhere. This is really shitty. Scale 1 10. I did check this one. I did. I don't know where to go now. Uh, I'm going to have to look for cars on the off side, I guess. There is another car right there. I think that's where we were previously, too. And there is a car right there. I didn't ha I have an extra battery at home. I hope that's something he fixes. I do believe that, you know, a car battery can be recharged if you're letting it run. Um, you know, just saying. It could be nice. I right now can't run. I'm in injury mode. Oh, for frig's sake. All right, last one. I think we're going to go to the right here. We'll test out to see. It looks like there's a fire there, a light. Isn't there a light? I think I see a light. That's not always a good thing, is it? But I think I see a light over there. I don't know why I'm grabbing a hammer. I don't really have space for that. Nails and scrap. Maybe we'll get lucky and we'll find it in this. I've never seen one inside the actual vehicle itself. I also have to worry about bear spawns. Those things are deadly as hell. Okay. Well, we're going to go and find out what that light is. Right down there. Okay, so it's not a light. It's a cabin we can take over. And that actually ends up popping up pretty darn bright for us. So that's pretty cool. How are we doing on stats here? Thirst is really mega up. I'm trying to avoid drinking until I finish eating. We're probably going to eat a can of food. We're just going to walk up to this place. There's no cars here. Of course not. God, it's going to be a pain in the ass to find a battery. We're going to need a couple of batteries to make this work. We're not taking this as our own place, that's for sure. We're just going to walk in and hopefully find some stuff. We don't need a hatchet right now. Oh, we can use this, though. That's an upgraded bag. Thank you. A knife and stuff are not in desperate need for it. Anything in here? Oh, more badges. That might actually be very, very handy. Okay, so let's do this here. Hunger-wise, this thing makes you thirsty as hell. Let's eat that. Okay, he's going to be parched as shit, but he's also going to be full. And we'll take a big swig. Okay, not fantastic, but better than nothing. All right, we can sleep on the ground here by pressing, like you guys have mentioned, we can press 7, F7, is there a 7, 7? There we go. Place our body where we want to. Sounds great right about there. <laughs> and uh, we're going to sleep for about... Uh, Seven hours, I guess, to heal. 
Let's try seven hours. Let's see here. This is still going down. Well, it's not as bad as it was before. It used to go all the way down to nothing. All right, that's pretty good. We're up in atoms. It looks like our leg is still healing. Should probably have done something before. I want to see. I guess a lot of this is testing and finding out. Four hours. Yeah. All right, let's just bandage it up. I'm, I'm, I'm fed up with this shit. Okay, we don't want to re-injure it, so we're going to take our time. We are bandaged up. Could have done that during before sleep, but again, testing is a must sometimes. So we're doing our best to do that, and we're going to start walking down over there and seeing whether or not we can find anything. Let's see. Let's hopefully we'll find a car with something in it. It'd be very, very sweet. Maybe a battery after we sleep. Right there, I hope. If not, we're going to take a little walk further down. Uh, there is a bandit camp right over there to the left, and there is a spawn point. we got to be careful for not mistaken around here for bears. Bears are definitely a little bit OP. Um, I, I think most of us agree on that. They do need a little bit of tinkering with. Looks like there's a house down there. A car. We'll try our best to go there. Just going to check this out. We're healing, and then we're going to take our time and make sure it's good. All right, we have an engine at this point. Probably going to need it afterwards anyways. Might as well take advantage of it. Should have brought the jerry can. Could have filled up. Oh, wow. All right. Nice. That's cool. That's cool. And that's cool. Right, we can't stack those. I wish we could stack them. There's nothing in the back of this. Nothing aside here, right? Just double checking. Never is, but, you know, never know. You have battery on the floor. Uh, double checking this to make sure. All right, there's a big, big... Oh, that's the farmhouse. Okay. There is a car right there in front of the farmhouse. It looks like the farmhouse we can take over. Is that possible? It looks like there's a little white emblem on it. That doesn't look like a farmhouse at all, actually. What is this? This is one that you guys were talking about, the massive house? We're going to move here if this is a real house. If this is a real stuff, and you guys told me there's lots of storage in this. Again, I do appreciate it. God, I just worry about bears more than anything else. Bears just come out of friggin' nowhere. And if we do have that, we'll search out the house itself. Then I'll run back and get the car off camera anyways. I'm not going to bore you guys with that. If we get lucky. They should know. This game should know when we're desperate for something. A battery would be nice. I think her grunting. Yeah. All right. Just got to make sure. Maybe this car here. We're all so close to healing up. This is a, a big one, eh? Wow, you guys are right. There's a big house down here, and this is definitely it. I wasn't aware, actually, of this one. I thought it was a farmhouse because of the tower behind. But it isn't. That's sweet. All right, we're almost there. I know it's low, but uh, we're no choice. Part of the game survival it does have that mechanic if we uh, run it we'll hurt ourselves oh shit no battery guys this is not good we're gonna be on foot a little bit once we're healed up we'll be able to run so it's gonna be okay i know i just checked it but just double checking triple checking and quadruple checking all right we're gonna have to store some stuff up here anyway so let's pick up the sticks and stuff and start crafting i will have to bring back my table to here which means yeah it's gonna be some fun you guys told me also I can take down things with the axe. I can take down that, like actual uh, fences and stuff. We'll have to try that out afterwards. We'd be very lucky to find anything inside of this here. Never is. No. Why couldn't I have at least a battery sometimes? I mean, uh, it'd be nice to have a spot with a battery. Okay. Turn off the light for now. Very, very big. This is actually pretty close to the bandit house. Not too far away. We're going to call this our own. Yep. Set his base for now. Looks like the best place for us to kind of take care. Hopefully we don't lose our stuff on the other side. We can take apart these tables. Lots of room. We'll have to bring those lockers back and forth. It has a kitchen. No water. Really have to resolve that water thing too by making a water purifier. I know a lot of you were mentioning that. Okay, we can't go down. Up we go. Second floor, even a bed on it. Oh, we can actually rest on that. Cool, I don't have to bring the bed. That is nice. Extra. Yeah, I don't see a storage in this place at all. I don't know if those cabinets downstairs are storage. We'll have to check it out. I didn't see any storage whatsoever in this place. 
very desolate, but it is a big ass place where you can place a lot of stuff. Definitely. Can I use these? Open. Alright, there's some storage here. These are all storage. Alright. That is excellent. Oh, cool. So you actually can just drop off some of this loot here. We don't actually want on us all of it. That is for sure. We're gonna keep the cans of cola. We'll put the actual uh well, we'll put the actual food in here. Why not at this point? And uh, yeah, I actually have another cola here too. Sweet. Put the extra one here. Nice. So all this stuff I can actually sort out afterwards. Cool hammer. Here you go. Another tool that can go in there. Ooh, beauty. Beauty. Drink until enough. Drink a little. Drink a little bit. Don't drink too much. I mean, I could have been all the way through it, I guess. Drink until enough. I'm just worried about that means drink everything. I don't know. Not sure if the English is good in this. All right, cool. Look at that. Some sugar. More cola. Another hammer. Man, we're not going to run out of hammers. I think I got like 10 hammers. I'm just joking. <laughs> a little exaggerated, but you know what I mean. Wow. Some matches. Sweet. Well, we can leave those there. All right, not the greatest amount of stuff, but, but I say, um, uh, pretty darn cool, though, the loot that we, we actually found in this place. That's uh, actually stuff we need big time. It actually works out, too. They're cupboards, and you would find kind of those things, sugars and stuff in here. I guess there's still some drawers in here on the bottom. We can look through. I found another knife. I was looking. I thought, oh, and there you go. So that's good. Self-healing. Again, we have a slight wound now. I think we're going a little bit faster than we did before. At least that's good. We don't have to run. But we can actually get a little jog on it. I wanted to test this out and see if can I take apart the trash can. Okay, so that it paused just a tiny bit. I don't know why, but anyway, so we'll, we'll see if we can actually take this apart and what we get for this. All right, so we do get scrap. Very, very nice. All right, that's very handy. I like that a lot. Still more scrap and stuff inside here. I guess we can break this no we can't okay barrel fire quick wood fix nice nice oh look at that a gear we actually can make our own gears we'll have to use the actual forge over there let's climb this baby up let's see what we got up here maybe we'll get lucky and get a better helmet oh 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 that might hurt that might hurt nothing around here right god darn it but definitely a nice view though Holy crap. Go down slowly. I'm not trying to run or anything. I feel like he's going to fall when he has no hands. I wish he'd put that away. Hopefully, they'll do that in the future. All right. Anything else back here? Got some wood. Stump. Interact with it. All right, cool. So, this actually is a part of that. We can actually grab it. No, we can't. We can actually chop firewood right here. Very nice. And we can pick up the axe on the back. Before we couldn't, seems like that's fixed too. A little bit of things always constantly changing in this place. I like that a lot. Uh, can we do that same thing with the... Just a morbid curiosity. We're not going to be using a slide anyways. Not with our condition. So everything is breakable. That is nice. So we've got all a bunch of scrap. Once we find this stuff, we just have to take it apart. That's all it is. Very nice. I'm just going to finish her up. And get our scrap we can out of this and see how much we can actually get from it. Currently, we have what? We got one scrap from last one. All right, that's not very much considering the trash can. Figured to get a little bit more than that. That's okay. Again, all about tweaking and stuff. The game is still in early access. I have no problems with changes and stuff that it will occur. I get excited about it anyway, so let's see here. Components. Whoa, okay. This is much better. God, got some good loot out of that sucker. Nice, nice, nice. We'll do the rest afterwards. We want to go investigate just a tiny bit over there. Afterwards, holy crap, what a stressful day. Stressful day after work. What do you do? We have to come back home. We're going to need a workbench. And we'll need to go and pick it up and drag it back here. And that means walking it through hell and high water. But we'll do it. Again, the great thing about this, and I, I keep on repeating it, is that, um, we don't have to worry about actual zombies at night, which I really appreciate. <laughs> I don't know if you guys realize how much that was a pain in the ass when zombies just constantly roam at night. We play those games constantly, and you know, it can't be a pain. This is a much better base. Those lockers, too, will be handy. We do have enough storage right now, but it would need the car to actually um, bring back that kind of loot. We're going to check out this one house back here. There's another house right there, or cabin, and hopefully a vehicle nearby, too. And we're going to keep our eyes out for a bear... 
or any kind of bandits that may be around here. There is a car in front of that. And so far, the mist is not out. And again, I'm not running whatsoever. Some people are saying it's taking away, of course, our thirst and all that. That's possible in mechanic too. I, I, I didn't have a chance to really kind of stare at it when I'm doing it. I am kind of cold. I need a fire soon. Oh, they're inside. Oh, I ran there. They had me running. Okay, the stairs are right here. I was going around the other side. I thought it'd take a while because I'm walking. So I'm trying to make this as easy as possible. Let's right, see if we can get these guys out or do a stealth kill. All right, so we're going to crouch a bit. I do want to test the sunlight theory. I also want a stealth kill on this guy. But I don't want to die. Oh, stealth kill! Eat your eye, eat your eye. Did you see that shit? You're out. Oh, he doesn't like the sunlight whatsoever, eh? Oh, I had to run, so I guess I you know, probably hurt myself there. You have to run a little bit sometimes. Oh, you know, he doesn't seem to be dying. Experiment done, I think. Um, he doesn't like it, that's for sure. To keep him out of it, it can't close the door or anything. I can't tell which angle he's in. I just got to fix it. I'm clipping. He turns back going the other way, I'm gonna go for him. Oh! Hey, watch your eye! Oh! Oh, okay, chest this time. Nice. Look at that. I don't think I would want to eat zombie food. Well, this is all the stuff that they dropped. I should pick up these lockers and move them. Hell yeah, it's just down the street. I'll pick these up and go. All right, well, we got to try it out at least. Stealth kills are nice, I have to say. I'm, I'm, I love that. Not a very good place for a base. It was a rifle ammo, I guess. I think it was rifle ammo. Yeah, it was. We are kind of crouched down. There is actually a pat thing here. Let's just get off the crouch. Nice. Again, trying to avoid using any kind of bandages. We can. This is actually rifle ammo. We don't have a rifle yet. Shotgun. We do know where the shotgun was. Again, I hope they change that where it's locations and stuff. Um, and hopefully that'll happen very shortly. All right, that's good. That's cool. It's cool. I'll take that. Oh, sure. I'll take another axe. Why not? Anything here? Some scrap? Sure. Some mechanical part components. I shouldn't say mechanical parts. Just components. Tire with no rim. Those things are on the bottom. Look like magazines and stuff. Anything in the drawers here? Nothing in the drawers. Hopefully that'll be something also. Uh, we can't sleep in this bed either. So, All right. So both these were checked, right? Because sometimes you miss them. All right. We're going to press M for move. Can I bring it out? Okay. Or M. Can I carry you with me? Oh, I can. The saw bench outside cannot be carried, if you guys were wondering. I did check it before. But we can carry this wonderful locker back with us. We can utilize that for more storage, which we'll need. Also, pair of these lights, too, once we get the generator going and such. But I'm just going to show you guys you can't pick these up or do anything with it just yet. Hopefully, in the future, that is something. Again, no... Oh, there's another cabin across. Uh, no cars uh, for us to pick up a battery. Hopefully, we'll have to wait for a respawn and go and pick up our vehicle. Worst case scenario, we'll start dropping off some loot we can carry here. We're doing okay. We have tons of food. And the bear meat, don't worry about it, it's gone. That workbench is what I really need from the other side, since we got two lockers here. And we can do that very, very slowly. Just make it look a little more realistic. I'll just put my hands down. <laughs> make it look like I'm carrying something. I would probably do this in real life, too. I mean, hey, we should try and pick up. I don't know if these lockers are that heavy. they got to be somewhat heavy, heavier than this. That is for sure. But it's all cool. I love the game. I like the aspect. It does have a long dark and a whole bunch of different feels. And again, if you guys like this series, please make sure you support it by hitting the like button. If you're brand new, make sure you, of course, subscribe. It's always extremely appreciated. Oh, man. Let's open this door here. Let's see if we can get this baby in. M, bring you in. I want to hit the stairs. Just like moving real life. I guess we could put it... Oh, wait. oh shit. That's what people are asking. That... Uh, can I put this in front of a window instead of for barriers? I don't know if we would have things destroyed or not. But the only one we need to find out, actually, is to actually... Oh, shit. To actually do it. I think we can scrap these things if we want to. So, I don't know. We'll have to test it out. We'll put one in front of here. Just for shits and giggles. 
to see what actually is a barrier that can be used for now. I think it'll be very, very cool. So thank you guys for being here. I do appreciate it. Again, if you guys like this series, make sure you smack the like button. This is Gimmage. I'll catch you guys on the flip side.